Okay, I'll repeat this once more. That why have we discussed get a limb by ID? I'll let me once more because the coding is in front of you. Well, um, I made a function display me. Within this function, I have a code block. Okay, and this is go to my document or HTML document, whatever document I'm talking about. Uh, get an element by its ID, which is me. It will go to the HTML document and see do I have any ID by the name of me? Obviously, you cannot have two IDs of the same name ID identification. And if, if you do so, the one that comes first from top to bottom will be dealt with first if you make a mistake. Okay. Dot in an HTML simply means that you have to find this ID within HTML tag, within HTML coding. And whatever you do should be assigned the following thing. Remember, we discussed single equal to, double equal to, and triple equal to. We did talk about single equal to means that you're assigning, double equal to means we're comparing, and triple equal to means we are strictly comparing. Please always keep these three points in mind. They're really important. Okay. So I want to assign this to this. So I have H1. H1 has an ID this and this. And lastly, I have a button. And on click, I'm doing this. So here we go. When I click on this, it will change the text. Right. Very important feature. We will look into it again on Tuesday in more detail with more examples. Okay. For right now, I think so I can stop with this. Next. I will discuss is string manipulation before I discuss functions today. Okay, let's stick with this basic. Um, you know what strings are? Strings. Um, your name one two three. Okay, alphanumeric. We call them strings. Um, we have two fifty six uh, different characters that we can enter. Alphabets, lowercase, uppercase, symbols, numbers zero to nine. These are all strings. So we'll learn two things today. We'll learn string manipulation. And we'll learn arrays. You remember what a variable was? What what was variable? How would you define and explain a variable? Container. Container, exactly. So okay, here you go. Uh, let's talk about strings. I will directly open it from here. Index. Okay. We will directly view it from here. Okay. I will just save it on the desktop and directly open it from there. Okay. Don't totally depend on this. What you see is what you get. Um, string. I can use concatenate. I can use dot um, character add. We will talk about font color, font size, index of, last index of, length, um, link, um, small, sub, substring, and sub str, and sup, two lowercase, two uppercase, that's it. How many are discuss currently? Remaining, how many discuss currently? Okay. Let's talk about character add. Let me write over here three again. Okay. A. Let me save it. Why do I get S? So in this case, I am getting S. Let me change this to 2. I am getting T. Can you see? Why am I getting T? Basically, oh, index means this is zero index, zero, one, two, three. Aapke programming languages, when you talk about strings and arrays, indexing zeros and start up here. Remember, we talked about color codes in O level when we talked about zero to 255 color codes of RGB. Or we have 256 consider karte hai. So basically, wahan bhi zero se start up. Everywhere to start from zero. So L over here is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. So when I say, tell me which character do you have in your second index number, it always tells me I have over here is E. If I say, what if I want to get T? 
if what if I want to get this t? So this will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's check. Let's make it 5. I get t. Okay. If I say obviously 6, I should get a. Okay, so this confirms the point, it starts from zero. And remember one thing, all the methods that you will use, unka color light gray ho jayega. For example, instead of this, if I type a small, it turns into black color. So, your all methods are in camel case. And you know what camel case is? That the initial word is small, and the rest of the words that, that uh, come afterwards always start with the sentence case, the capital case. Okay, like background color. Background is one word. So color will kasi capital hoka. So always remember this is all camel case. Although the library comes along, we have to do this in the question. In P3 paper, the examiner has a question of JavaScript. He gives you the code and tells you what is the error in the code. Five marks a question. I know it's unfair, but yes, this happens. So theoretical part also comes in your theory. This is why, frankly speaking, the, the, if you talk about um, how much portion of practical you have in the syllabus, I would rather say 65% is practical. Because in your theory, you get around um, 20 to 25 marks of practical questions over there as well. They will ask you about the difference between DBMS, RDBMS, the difference between bitmap and vector-based are topical. They will talk about, uh, explain what is meant by frames, what is meant by motion training, what is meant by motion guide layer explain in terms of this. So whatever we do in practical, please have a good reasoning for it. Achha, let's keep on talking about more. So character at kismaj aage, or kya aska raya tha? Let's talk about um, A. What is A? Okay. Right. Okay. Um, index of. Let's discuss index of. What do you think so index of will be? Sorry. Yes. What will be index of? What does it mean index of? One. I have an E dik have one carrot. Bilkul se kare. Index of one kyun kare? Index of what is the index number of what is the index number of E? It's 0, 1. What is the index number of L? 0. What is the index number of whatever you want to say? Okay? So if you write E, it's going to help on the question. I, I, I even wrote space. Do you see space? It gave me 4. Because space over here is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So uh, first, what we did was character act. We, we provided a character and we wanted to know what was exactly. And now we're doing the opposite thing. So we have over here is index of. Are you question? Are you right? Are you going to tell us one question? The first one. No. Okay. Uh, this is why you have over here, look at this. Your question was very valid. That's why I'll explain you uh, this last index of as well. Last index of will do what? Let's save and see. Now it's giving me 15. Because now it's giving me the position of this one. This space. So last index of starts from, from here. From the, from the right hand side. Just like the mid and the right function you have in Excel. So you want to start from here, you want to start from here. Now your question will be, what if I want to deal with something in the middle? Well that would be a bit more complicated because we have to use loops for that. Okay? You get the point? Is it clear? Okay, let's talk about more. Yes, beta. We dot kar lete hain. You tell me what do you expect output will be? Is iski position taiga? Iski taiga na? So which is nine? I count karoge to is ye because a space is a character. We know that na space is a character. Okay. Null value is not a character. Null value is null value. Okay. Right. Uh, let's talk about more. Yeah. 
सो बिफोर आई डिस्कस अदर्स मैं अच्छा मैं नीचे वाले पहले डिस्कस कर लूँ कि ज़्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है सब एस टी आर एंड सब स्ट्रिंग इनका यूज इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्लीज लिसन केयरफुल वट सब स्ट्रिंग एंड वट इज एज सब एस टी आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब स्ट्रिंग अगर मैं यूज करता हूँ यानी फाइस सब स्ट्रिंग टू कॉमा फोर लेट्स सी वट डू वी गेट वाई इज इट यू One. Uh, it's not one. Sorry, it's uh, B. Ki baat ki hai na. It's giving me L. Let me make it A. It's giving me T S. T S. Sub string ka matlab kya? String. Sub string. You are taking out a part of a string, just like your mid function. Okay. I just told you. सर डेटा मैनिपुलेशन में वी वर्क विद स्ट्रिंग्स या हम अपनी स्ट्रिंग मैनिपुलेशन कर रहे हैं वी वॉन्ट टू टेक आउट डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ अ स्ट्रिंग एंड वर्क विद इट ओके वाई आर वी डूइंग दिस यू नो वाई बिकॉज लेट से इफ वी वॉन्ट टू वैलीडेट प्लीज सेलेक्ट अ कंट्री बट द कंट्री दैट यू सेलेक्ट शुड स्टार्ट विद बी ऑब्वियसली इट्स वेरी अपसर्ट क्वेश्चन बट इट कुड बी If you want to restrict the data entry, starting with something, ending with something, how would you do that? We will be using this. Okay, we'll talk about later on. Kista karenge. So, a dot substring two comma four basically means let's have a look. Zero, one, two. T a gaya. Then we have two, three, and four. So this is why it will show us T S. You get the point. बट नो दे समथिंग मोर इंपॉर्टेंट दिस मैं इसको चेंज कर देता हूं इन टू वन कॉमा थ्री वट डू एक्सपेक्ट द आउटपुट विल बी टी टी यू नो द रीजन वाई क्योंकि वन कॉमा थ्री का मतलब यह है जीरो वन टी आएगा टू टी आएगा थ्री एस नहीं आएगा बिकॉज थ्री जो हम लिख रहे हैं इट्स नॉट इंक्लूसिव इट्स नॉट लाइक यूर एक्सेल मिड फंक्शन जिसमें हम लिखते थे ए टू कॉमा टू कॉमा फोर एंड फोर वॉज इंक्लूसिव यहां वो इंक्लूसिव नहीं है प्लीज जेन में बात ओके सो वन टू विल कम थर्ड विल नॉट बी इंक्लूसिव इज इज क्लियर दिस इज हाउ सब स्ट्रिंग बेसिकली वर्क यू कैन एक्सट्रैक्ट एनी पार्ट फ्रॉम एनी पार्ट ओके इज इज क्लियर सो हाउ इज इट वर्किंग It starts from one, zero, one, so one, two, three. Yeah, se pehle tak one se pehle uh, one se or three se pehle tak extra apko show karaye tak. This was substring. Why am I repeating again? Okay, the next function I'm discussing with you, which is quite the same, but usually creates a confusion with students. It is your sub str, which says this. If I use the same thing, sub string की जगह sub str use करता हूं Let's see हमारा output क्या होता है अब ETS आ रहा है अब ETS टी एस क्यों आ रहा है बिकॉज सब स्ट्रिंग कहता है स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट वन फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड मुझे डिस्प्ले करा दो दिस मीन्स थ्री ओवर हेयर थ्री ओवर हेयर इज इज एक्चुअली नॉट द इंडेक्स नंबर ऑफ इट्स नॉट द इंडेक्स नंबर इट मीन्स You need to extract three characters after first one. If I write over here one comma eight, it will display me e ke baad eight characters. If I write one comma thirteen, it will display me one ke baad thirteen characters. Are you getting my point? If I use substring, it's different. So you get the point difference with substring and a substring. This is there's a tiny difference, but they, it, it can make a lot of difference in some questions. Please let me know you got the point or not. I repeat again, your substring extracts till the index number of, which means one comma three means start from one and one two three. Separate that. But in case of substring, it means 
वन जीरो वन से स्टार्ट करें उसके बाद वन टू थ्री वन टू थ्री अगले तीन को एक्सट्रैक्ट करें इफ आई राइट टेन इट मीन्स वन से अगले टेन को एक्सट्रैक्ट करें सो टेन थ्री एन एस एफ एस टी आर रिप्रेजेंट हाउ मेनी करेक्टर्स यू विल बी एक्सट्रैक्टिंग हाउ मेनी यू वॉन्ट टू टेक आउट इज इट क्लियर ये सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट है आपके सी आई इसके लिए इन किन केस ऑफ दैट ओके वेन यू हैव अदर्स बाकी देर देर क्वाइट बेसिक इतना मुश्किल नहीं है आई कुड यूज ए डॉट लिंक आई कुड टाइप ओवर हेयर इज एच टी टी पी फाइल सेव इट विल क्रिएट दिस लिंक ओके एंड इट ओपन अप दैट पर्टिकुलर वेबसाइट so um a dot link creates a link right it's again important thing you should be aware of okay i am not discussing all the methods they are not in syllabus obviously java mein bahut kuch hai it's an ocean the limited portion we have to discuss of but we will come out of the syllabus in a2 thoda beyond karenge i'll stick to the syllabus in a1 okay clear right um If there will be more, I'll discuss more because I want to discuss with you is arrays as well. Let me give you an example of arrays. Let's say I can declare an array, and I could write over here different things. I could write over here is um, write over here. Lagos. Lagos is a city, but still I write it. Now I'll write over here is right. Then I will declare another one. Are uh, people from different countries? Now, basically, what are we talking about? We are talking about arrays. If you can recall your previous concepts of IT, do you remember something? Uh, exactly. Really. But okay. Usse pehle, let me talk about something more. Do you remember when did we use your simple conventional brackets? We always use them for functions. You do remember? Okay. Why do we use these? we always use them for scripting css javascript cj scripting php we always use these for if you can recall for our databases yes or no we will never use this for scripting we will never use this for databases we will never use this for database yes scripting there is there are rules that we have to follow so if this represents databases this means what i am doing today is i am defining a much larger container a larger container that can hold small containers within it we call them arrays a variable is a small container i want it is large container where i can store thousands 2000 different values and these values are what comma separated values do you see their csv files i could paste them in so inko hum arrays karte hain and arrays ko define karne ka tarika hai wo hai you use these Square brackets and between them, double quotes. Me, you have your values. Now, why are we discussing this? This could be used in many places. So we will learn bit of your array manipulation today. Why arrays are used? Array, what are they used for? When you have to validate um, countries and different stuff like that, different hobbies, different product names, जो उनको validation करना पड़ेगा, then we will use arrays for that. same way i will use is document dot write or let's say a dot i will use over here is concat b c 
save it and not this one. What do I get? I get both of these joined together. Concat. Yes or no? Okay, I could use this method concatenate. I could use is a dot sort, which will obviously do is it will sort this in an order. I could use is a dot reverse that will reverse the order whatever it was in. I could use is for example, if we sort, it was sending order. If I do a dot reverse dot sort, what will happen? You get the point? Okay. So uh, I could have is a dot length now length is not a method it's a property so it will tell me how many um, values I have in my CSV file I have five values okay Vese, um, if you want to remember the concept methods we have to do syllabus you come to my website come to A level uh, IT um, activities programming and over here um, I have to refresh the page you will see JavaScript method list so these this is the extreme all the method list to have maximum potential I'm not discussing all of them today we will gradually discuss most of them in A1. I'm going to discuss them. Agle Friday, we will finish this We'll finish this up Friday. Okay? So, this is what you have to do. Oh, nonsense. Sure. Acha, reserved keyword. Please remember this. Uh, some of one of the students was doing this mistake. You have reserved keywords. You can't use words. You can't make methods. Uh, you can't make, sorry, functions using this you can't make a function name as finally you'll waste time when you have so many other names that you could use why not to use those so reserve keywords is something really important please keep in mind you get the point that's a one thing very important do you know the difference between methods and functions now yeah, yeah. let me talk about it. what is the difference between methods and functions <coughs> After all this discussion, what did you figure out? I discussed uh, multiple methods over here today. Um, we are still discussing more. Yes. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Bilkul baat se kariye. Functions of Tena, but the concept of functions in Java is a bit different. It means you can define your own function. You can name it like Tukamanga phobia, whatever you want. Any function. Not the reserve keywords, please. Uske lawa koi bhi function na sakta apne marzi kar. Methods are predefined. Ye list kis kiya methods ki. Jo length tha na jiska ke bracket nahi tha, usko property kya hai. There are very very few properties. Do thing properties instead of okay, okay. Abhi aaj sab ne dot length ek property discuss kiya. But you have, you have discussed multiple methods. So methods are built in. Functions are user defined in simple words. You get the point? Okay. Uh, the concept of uh, functions in Excel, in Access, is, is differently defined. Var functions are basically system defined. If I talk about max function, so it will give you the maximum value in Excel, but it's, it's a function. It's not a method over there because it's not a programming language. When you come into programming language, your, your methodology, your concepts change a bit. Okay, right. Um, we will continue with this. We will continue with this. I just want to discuss the loops and then we stop. Okay. Okay. Huh? We have we have just discussed today. We start with string manipulation, get element by ID, and arrays. Three topics. Three topics are enough for a day? Yes. 